Hello everybody and welcome back to the ICO channel. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, put your Meister stack into one of these iCode uh, 3D printed cases. You can get these from iCode.com. They're really nice cases. Uh, they are 3D printed. They come with different colors. And um, you can also make them work with either the digital or analog um, as well as the hubs on these stacks that have either the USB um, powered or the uh, barrel uh, powered, uh, you know, the round power uh, as well. Um, this, the height of these stacks are a little bit different depending on which power method you have for your hub. So you need to purchase the correct case for it. This one is the USB powered um, um, hub and you'll notice that the height is a little bit um, shorter here it, um, but with the barrel power this height right here is going to be uh, slightly taller but you get everything you, you need in the case um, uh, since I got this one here for the uh, USB powered one uh, it comes with all the um, uh, standoffs that you need with the right heights and so on comes with the covers for both digital and analog depending on if you've got an I.O. board that's digital only or you've got an I.O. board that's analog. Uh, either way and you'll be okay uh, with the set. It also comes with the bridge protector which I'll show you. But, uh, but let's um, take this Meister stack that I have here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, assemble the case for you so you can see how the uh, assembly process works. First, I'm going to go ahead and shut off my Meister here. All right, and a um, couple of things you need to know. Uh, number one, I've already put in these standoffs, and these standoffs have different heights. You'll notice, for example, the height of this middle section uh, is a little bit higher. This is about 14 millimeters, I believe, and this you can get different size sizes. So in the uh, bag here. Um, you'll have two different size uh, standoffs. Let me go ahead and show you. I'll you know, pour out all the pieces here. So you'll notice you'll have the, the, the tiny ones, which I've already put on at the very bottom. These are the small ones. These go at the bottom. Um, they would be normally in the, in the stack. Then there is some um, medium and taller ones. So you'll notice these are the two different sizes here. Uh, this is the smaller one, and then this is the little bit taller one. So the tall one goes right in the middle here, where your D10 Nano is. And then this uh, little bit smaller one goes on the top. So make sure you don't put the tall one on the top, and then uh, you'll be okay. And then you've got the two-way screw, which is uh, these that don't have an end on them. These are the ones that are here for the hub. Um, on the... Um, barrel pole powered. Um, this would not be here. This would instead be uh, one of these tall units because the barrel pole uh, takes a little bit different. But for this particular case, uh, which is hub powered, you're going to put uh, this piece, if you don't already have it, uh, right here in the middle. So those are the four pieces you need. The tiny, uh, the double-sided, the medium and the tall. So that's how you're going to uh, put it up first. So we got the stack here that was operational. The next we're going to go ahead and um, unbox these pieces here. These are the faces that go on the ends. Um, so there are different faces. Um, I don't need this one. This is the VGA analog one since this is a digital only stack. I won't be using this one but if you've got a um, analog stack you're going to need to use this one so I'm going to put this aside so we're going to be using these two um, the big hole is for the LAN port and then um, uh, this is for the other side so we're going to use these two in a minute and then let's look what else is in here um, you've got this is for the uh, for the bridge so this bridge here this is a protective cover and it stops uh, the bridge from damaging your D10 Nano and I'll show you that in a second so we'll put this over here uh, for that. And then you've got these three 
which are uh, the buttons that uh, connect to up here. So these are going to be going up here in a minute, and I'll show you how those work. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start uh, with uh, the, 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 the bottom unit here. Okay, so this is the bottom, and then this is the top where it has the buttons. Um, so we're going to start with the bottom, and we're going to put it to the next to it here. And we're going to have to put the faces on first before we slide the unit onto the uh, case. So let's uh, first get these on. So here's the land side. So just make sure you've got it lined up like this. So all the holes line up. It should fit uh, well. If the height is not correct, you know you've got the wrong size uh, standoffs here. Make sure uh, you've got that like that. Then just hold it with your hand uh, slightly like that. Okay. So we're good on this side. And then we're going to check the other side. And same thing, um, you know, make sure that uh, the holes line up. It should line perfectly. And kind of a little bit snap in maybe. It doesn't have to snap in. Just hold it with your uh, hands like that. And then find the switch. This is the switch. And obviously the SD card goes here. So find the side that that's going to line up with. The SD card is, uh, is the one that's notched like this. Right, that's where the SD card is going to be going. So that's the right side. You know, this is the wrong side. This is the right side. So we're going to uh, put both of these uh, kind of like slide it um, in like that. Make sure on the edge this is uh, inside of the case, like that. And then uh, flip it over and check the other side as well. And make sure the other side is also on the inside. So those lips. Of the faces need to be on the inside um, of the edges of the case. So both sides should be like that. And um, once you've got it uh, one side in and the other side in like this, um, then it should just kind of slide in, you know, like that. My SD card popped out. It's better to keep this out before you start. Now, once it's uh, down, uh, press it all the way down. Now make sure the bottom lip is all the way in because if it doesn't uh, slide in, it's going to be sitting up a little bit and then these holes won't line up. So right now they're lined up. So I know it's in on both sides. So all the bottom pieces are lining up. So the bottom piece is good to go. Next, we're going to take this top piece and flip it over. You'll notice uh, this is the um, area where the buttons go. So you're going to take these uh, three buttons and we're going to put them upside down into these holes like this. It's got a little notch on the end, on the edge, so just make sure you line up the, the notch. And you can spin it slightly. Um, it won't lock in. It's a little bit loose, but it'll at least help it a little bit. And where's my third one? All right, I left my third one probably on my table up, upstairs. That's okay, I will keep going, but you know, you'll put the third one in as well. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, unit and you're gonna turn it, uh, the two sides that have the buttons next to each other, and you're gonna turn your unit upside down. And again, you're gonna make sure the edges are on the lips are inside, on both sides, on the inside. So just like that, they're, 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 they're going to be inside. And this side is also on the inside. And then you're going to push it in slightly. Don't put too much force. Just get it all ready. There's going to be a gap here initially. Then you got to make sure that these edges fit on the bottom edge, fit inside, right? So uh, make sure that's in. Check the other side. Push it in a little bit. Make sure it's in like that. And then these notches are what keeps the case kind of like together. They fit together. They kind of like will snap in a little bit. Um, don't put too much force. Um, it should um, fit nicely like that on one side. See, now that's in. And then I'm going to do the other side. Sometimes it takes a little bit of um, practice, but if you've got things lined up correctly, it should uh, go in perfectly. So there it is. It's all in on both sides. Uh, we're in good shape. 
check the buttons. It should be, you should hear the clicks. So this case is now built in. This particular one not, doesn't have the emblems. You can order these with the Meister uh, engravings and the labels on the faces, or you can get them plain. A lot of people like them plain because they can put their own uh, vinyl uh, labeling, or some people don't like the labeling. You can request different colors for these buttons as well. So those are those are choices you can leave in the comments. But um, let's look at uh, now what the next piece is. So the bottom, obviously, it's got four holes. Um, you can certainly use these. Uh, just um, take one of these silver uh, ones and uh, put it into the things. And these go on the bottom like that. So I'm going to just put one in for this video. And then you guys can put the rest in on yours. Don't make them too tight. Just make sure they're tight enough that um, nothing's moving around. So they're... So it's just like that. That'll way it'll sit nicely on the on the on the uh, on the table without slipping. So you do that on all four, and then these um, small black ones uh, go on the top. These are countersink screws, so they go nice and flush. Now um, inside here, um, you may need to clean it out a little bit to, uh, with a razor blade, uh, just. You know, if there's like extra residue, you know, I just kind of like go like this just a little bit to open it up. And then put your screw in. And um, just, you know, use a uh, screwdriver here. And again, don't screw it in too much, just uh, enough to, to for, the, for the unit to be fairly flush. It doesn't have to be perfectly flush. It's, you know, close. And then make sure the buttons are operating. If you push this too far in, it'll bend the case a little bit. And then these buttons may not work. So you know you've done it too tight. Um, so that's it for those. You do all four of those across the board. And, um, you know, the case is pretty much put together. Now we're going to work on this bridge. So the protective bridge on the case, you're going to just pick it up. Um, and It'll go in uh, in a direction where, um, you know, if it's like this, it'll stick out. So you, we don't want that. Um, so you want uh, the direction so that it's in the right direction. Okay. So just, um, you know, push it in like that. And then you'll see it uh, sit on these standoffs that are there. And the ends will come out. And then this is the back end the cover. Um, it's a little bit tough to get this on, but you know, if you just kind of push it in like this. And then the edges is where they're going to snap together, but you can't do it with your fingers. It's a little bit too hard. So get a piece of pliers like this and, um, you know, put, get one end um, on, kind of like that. Okay. So I've got one, one end connected and then do the other side. And it might come out a little bit, but just go around. Just like that. Okay. So I think, um, you know, that's pretty much what the bridge is going to look like. And then um, you're going to obviously put it um, into here. Just make sure, you know, we've got it lined up nicely. Um, like that. And then push it in. This will um, sit flush with the, with the face here. And... Um, you know, that's pretty much all you need to do. So let's go ahead and connect the cables just to give this a go. And I'm going to put my SD card in as well. So SD card goes obviously upside down the way it usually goes on here. Um, and I'm going to push it in so it uh, snaps in. There it is. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, power this up. I'm going to connect uh, the hub power to the bottom. This power goes to the top so that way this on off switch will work. We're going to connect our HDMI on this other end. Oops, it's on the same side I guess. There it is. And I'm going to connect my keyboard hub um, just to make sure my hub's working. This is my for my wireless keyboard. And um, 
we're going to go ahead and turn the switch to turn it on. There it is. And you'll see the lights flashing, which will tell you that uh, you've got it operational. Let's, and there it is. It's already booted. And sure enough, uh, I also have lights here next to the hub, so I know uh, my hub is getting power and it's syncing, and I can move up and down, and it's operational. And then you've got these uh, three pieces. Um, these are optional. Um, these are for lenses for the um, for the LEDs on the top. Um, they kind of just stick on, or they, you might get the ones that stick in the hole, uh, depending on what version of the case you have, but they will just kind of like stick right there and uh, it'll give the lights a little bit more um, obvious. It does um, sit off the surface just a little bit, but they're really nice. I like them. Um, they kind of give it a nice decoration. Um, and then if you've got the pipe ones, you can just stick them in a hole and they kind of snap in. Either one's fine. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you like these cases and give us a thumbs up. Again, you can get them from www.icode.com. And then you can request different colors. They come in uh, crystal, which is kind of translucent, and you can see all the lights inside. You can get them in orange, um, uh, blue, green, army green. Um, so just uh, let us know what color you want, and uh, we'll be happy to help. All right. Thank you so much. Take care.